Okay, so let's go and select now a lower lumen output. Maybe we can select a 28 watt or 21 watt luminaire for our bike lane. So I have white street optic. Ah, this is the best one. It has pedestrian walkway and cycle path optic. Perfect. I should have selected this one beforehand. So I will select this uh, one with for example 37 watt all right cool all right so let's just select this one and then save and then select it and then now i think it's here so let's go and change this one so how to replace it again replace luminaire in arrangement and then let's select the PWC and then apply yeah this is a 37 watt perfect so let's go and check now our calculation and see the result oh still not good so now right now we have okay I think we need to add more light and for this one we need to tilt a little maybe and this one with more light okay let's try tilting it into 5 degree and see what will happen okay tilting it makes it more now it's 10.2 all right so um, let's make it um, not tilted but shorter bracket so let's make it only the overhang should be in negative so let's make it negative 1.5 which is um, I think this is let's measure it to make sure yeah this is one meter one meter bracket let's take a closer look okay one meter bracket so let's go and check the result Ooh. now it's 2.1 this is 24 so bicycle lane has bad requirements so let's go and tilt this one into five degree and see how it goes Okay, this is still not <laughs> okay what if I make it 8 degrees okay so you can see that in the sidewalk P1 sidewalk 1 we achieved the correct uh, lux level but on the sidewalk 2 which is the light is coming from the main pole so it's still not achieving the required lux level so if I for example tilt it into 10 degrees let's see what will be the effect of that oh this is achieved perfect so for our bike uh, pedestrian lanes or sidewalk we are all achieved all the lux level unfortunately for the bicycle path it is still not so right now I have 0.75 only but the requirements is 1.5 and for the lux level i need to have at least five to seven but i have so much this is 21 and um, okay let's try reducing the lumen output into half so right now we have 37 watt and what if i choose to have the small pedestrian let's say the 15 watt so let's go and select this one and then say save and then use and now it's here so let's go select this one and replace luminaire and let's select the okay so this is the 15 watt so let's go and select and sorry check okay so you can see now that the sidewalk is not achieving now again 
but uh, the bicycle lane still not. Okay, so uh, after trying so many options and considerations and choosing and uh, adjusting the tilt, this is what I came up uh, the, the solution. So for the main pole, so this is 8 meters. Okay, so this is 8 meters. And the tilting angle is 15 degree. And the boom length is, let's go and measure it here. It's like 2 meters. Okay, and then with that, we achieve the road lighting requirements here and also for the sidewalk on this side. So it's a good thing that we achieve also the road side on the other side. While on this one for our bicycle lane, we got uh, the 15 watt with wide optic and um, I did not use the pedestrian um, optic because it is not achieving properly. So what I used is uh, the wide street optic. This one is not um, working properly. The pedestrian walkway and cycle path optic. Because the minimum is not achieving if we use that one. It is achieving the sidewalk but the bicycle lane is not. So um, what I did consider is first is the bicycle lane first and then the sidewalk uh, later. Because there will be some speed lights on the sidewalk later on so whatever the result here which is 3.26 lux only will be added from the speed light coming from the uh, buildings from the sides so that's why i consider the bicycle lane first instead of the sidewalk and so um, using the 15 watt with wide optic and with a degree of 15 degree tilt and the boom angle or the, uh, the boom length or the bracket length is 1.5 then we achieve this uh, minimum maximum and average lux level requirements so all are checked so what we are missing right now is for the sidewalk which has only uh, 3.26 lux but the minimum we achieve the minimum of um, uh, 1 lux because we are achieving 2.6 only for the average lux is not um, achieving properly Okay, and if you want to see it here in the graph, you can see here now that yeah, um, the paddock doesn't have enough light on the middle. But for the road and for the paddock on the other side, uh, these are all okay. Alright, so that's it. And um, yeah, so this is our street lighting design calculation using the Evo and uh, with a two-lane, two-way bicycle lane. Okay, so see you again later.